national anthem. Australian junior middleweight champion Trevor Christian, ringside judges Gary Lowe, Mick Bonetto, Joe Keegan. part of the glove, the face and the front part of the body. I don't want any holding. If I say break, I want you to break cleanly. My three calls are box, break and stop. That's what I want. When the, In the case of a knockdown, the man on his feet go to the furthest neutral corner, which is that one there or the one behind me, right? When the bell sounds, come out, shake hands yeah. and protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Best of luck to both of you. OK, down to action. Junior Middleweight Championship coming to you from the Central Coast Entertainment Centre at Eppelong on the Central Coast. And uh, going to be the big one, this one. Troy Waters of Australia. Troy Waters of Australia against Mike Harris from Wales. And, uh, well, plenty of, uh, plenty of Welshmen here tonight to cheer on the boy from Swansea. Here we go for round one. Troy Waters is going to come out bombing with that jab of his Zorb. It's the, one of the best jabs in the country, one of the best jabs in the junior middleweight division in the world. It's a really powerful shot. He's going to try and snap back Mike Harris's head and set him up for that big overhand right or the right uppercut that Troy Waters is so devastating here. This is going 12 rounds, this one. I'd be surprised if Mike Harris is there at the finish, but he does have a reputation for toughness. Only been stopped the once, as we were saying, and that was in a British title fight against the guy he got beaten a couple of years before. He's a well-performed fighter. His record's a little bit patchy, but he always gives value for money, and he's almost always there at the finish of a fight. OK, Troy Waters has a lot to lose tonight. He uh, can't afford to take any chances, and uh, very good opening by the Welshman. Troy Waters now jabbing out that, le that left, which he's renowned for. But uh, certainly, the boy from Wales has come a long way to find himself in Edelong, trying to win Troy Waters' Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship. Well, he comes, Mike Harris comes from the Welsh coal mining town of Swansea, so a tough town. But nice he's going to be in a tough there. town. <laughs> he's going to find it just as tough here inside this ring at Edelong Beach. Yeah, Troy, certainly with a height advantage, he's got beautiful left of yeah. that. Already he's starting Waters. to find the range of that left hand, and once he does, it'll be curtains for Mike Harris's chances of, of winning this Commonwealth title fight. Troy's starting to get in with the jab. Very, very tidy inside too, Troy. Keeps the hands very high. Very well schooled by his father. You know, his father's turned out another Commonwealth champion in Brother Guy and the Australian heavyweight champion, Dean, big brother, Dean. It's a great record, isn't it, for one, uh, one family, three brothers, all terrific fighters. Considering that they train in what is really a backyard gym down in the cow paddock, you know, it's, uh, it's a great performance by them. Certainly is. And Troy, of course, uh, we've always said that he's the... The most talented member of the family. I don't think any of them would dispute that. And he's uh, just one fight away, this fight away, from fighting for the IBF 
light middleweight championship of the world against a real good unbeaten American, unbeaten in 39 pro fights, Darren Schoolboy Van Horn. Gary, yeah, he, uh, he looks almost baby-faced there, Troy Waters, but he's all, he's all class. Beautiful defence. The fundamentals are, are excellent from, uh, from Troy Waters. Look at that left coming out and... Uh, Gee, Mike Harris had better be careful. He's dropping the hands. And he is dropping the hands very early. He's trying to showboat. Oh, he's walked into one there. Yeah, he's trying to showboat. Another against, one. He's trying to showboat against uh, Troy Waters. He's going to get bombed if he does that too often. Because Troy's got quick hands and he's got a big, powerful white cross that you'll see coming across very, very shortly. A little bit low and uh, Harris. Thanks for the referee, Trevor Christian. Okay, you're the boss. Let's be apologised. He... Uh, He's come to fight, he's not come to uh, issue any fouls. Ah, oh, good left by Troy Waters, but coming back strongly. And uh, after the bell one there, very good acting round. Troy Waters and Mike Harris for the Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship. Brought to you by Torpens on Sky. Tonight, the last of our triple header coming to you from the Central Coast Entertainment Centre. Grant Keyser, how did you see it? Well, very much a feeling out kind of round from... Troy Waters' perspective, Zorby, he's having a good long look at Mike Harris. He's not taking any chances. You know, he's got that world title fight to protect. There he is in the corner with Ian Batty and uh, his father, Sess, listening to what they're telling him. Troy's got that world title to protect. He's not going to take any chances against Mike Harris. He's not going to risk getting a, a cut eye or even a, a fluke one on the chin. He's going to have a good long look at Mike Harris before he opens up. Here okay. we go into the replay. Harris with uh, Harris trying boring. to get through that good defence of that. That did, but There's look, the Morrow Troy. pay one back straight yeah. away from Troy Waters. Yeah. Both punches, uh, uh, very good ones from the Welshman, but uh, he received exactly the same there, and the head went back, and look a beautiful that jab. left. The beautiful jab is jab. a beautiful punch, yeah. isn't it? He's, he's pissing like with that left hand. He pumps it out, and it really, really hurts. It's like getting hit by another guy's right hand. Okay, 12 three-minute rounds for the Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship, brought to you by Torbens on the Sky Channel. Hope you're enjoying the action, and uh, what a feast of boxing we've had for you fight fans. Wednesday, Thursday, and now Friday, lots of action, and a very good evening too. Spike Cheney back home in Lithgow. Good on you, Spike. Proud of that effort last night. All Australia is proud of your performance last night. Mike Harris going to work to the body there. You know, Troy Waters told me before this fight that he really wanted a tough workout. From, from Mike Harris. Troy's got a world title fight coming up and uh, he wants some more rounds of experience. Troy's used to bombing out opponents. He knocked out Gilbert Jossamu in the first defence of his Commonwealth Championship in just one round. The uh, fighter from Africa he took him apart in one round with the right uppercut and right hand over the top. He wants Mike Harris to go a few rounds because, gee, Troy's fighting a guy, Darren Schoolboy Van Horn, for the World Championship, and he needs all the experience he can get, because really, he's only had those 13 professional fights, and that's not many to stake against a guy who's unbeaten in 39. Okay, pushing out the right there, almost going down low again, and uh, then coming through, again a warning for it from Trevor Christian, and uh, definitely a low blow there. Pushing that right hand out and off, Troy Waters comes underneath with a beautiful right uppercut. Gee, if Mike Harris keeps dropping his hands like this, he's, he's going to go right over the back of this this hall. He's got a bad habit, uh, the Welshman, of uh, pushing that right hand out and almost using his palm to try and set up. There he goes again. Yeah. He's done it with the left hand again. Put him there, just pushing Waters away and then coming in with the quick hands. But uh, he's a good fighter, Troy Waters. He, he's handled that. That's right like combination. Hand, yeah. Underneath again from uh, Troy Waters. Gee, we know Mike Harris is durable and tough, but goodness. He's got to have to be. He's, he's just asking for trouble the way he's fighting Troy. He's standing in front of Troy with his hands down. It's, it's suicide. Trying to get in, in close and then come up underneath and uh, push Waters away. There's going to be a warning here. Yeah. OK, keep right. your heads apart. They're crouching low and... Uh, Nobody wants to see the fight stop with uh, with a head clash. Well, that's right, Zorg. But gee, I can't get over the way Mike Harris is fighting Troy Waters. He's standing right in front of him with his hands down. We're going to see a big right hand from Troy Waters very, very shortly, I feel. I don't Mike... think Troy can believe that the target is there. <laughs> well, Troy's really taking his time. You know, if he didn't have that real title fight in his mind, I'm sure he would have opened up before this. Being stung into action a little bit now. But Mike Harris is really having a go, isn't he? No, he certainly is. He's come to fight. He's got nothing to lose. He's not expected to win. He's very much the underdog. He's got uh, maybe 15, 20 very vocal uh, Welsh supporters here. And, uh, they did a beautiful job singing the national anthem. Can't they sing? We're going to find out if they can fight tonight. He's pushing, trying to push Troy Waters away, Mike Harris. 
He's going to realise soon that Troy's one of the strongest guys in the world and has a bomb in that right fist. OK, the end of round two. Very interesting contest, this one, between Mike Harris of Wales and Troy Waters, the defending Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship. Brought to you on Sky by, of course, those great people from Dortmund. Well, I can't believe over in Mike Harris's corner, he's standing. He's not sitting down in the corner. Troy's using every moment he can for a breather. But uh, Mike Harris, he's confident still. He's, he's been in there two rounds, hasn't done a real lot to trouble Troy Waters yet. He feels confident, but gee, Troy Waters, look at this right hand come through. <laughs> Mike Harris knocked a little bit off balance and the big uppercut from Troy Waters. He's trying to nail Mike Harris with everything he's throwing. Comes through with the right hand again. Mike Harris is throwing plenty of leather, but gee, Troy's defense is pretty, pretty good. Certainly is. He's a tough customer, uh, Harris. But oh, look at that jab. Yeah. Right in the and face. And the right hand. And the Whack. right. Good scoring punches from Troy Waters. He's very, very confident. There's no uh, animation in the uh, in the corner. And uh, certainly they're looking very confident as uh, round three gets underway. Well, you know, the only time Mike Harris has lost inside the distance was in the 10th round against Tony McKenzie, that very, very good British light -like welterweight champion. And that's not a bad reputation to have. He's fought McKenzie twice, lost on points. Uh, he's fought him three times, lost on points, was stopped in the 10th and beat him on points. And Tony McKenzie's a good fighter. You know, Mike Harris, his record, he's got 10 defeats on his record, but he's always, always providing a good fight and he's there to be hit for Troy Waters. He's there to put on a show with Troy Waters. He's certainly look, not looking for anywhere to hide against Troy, who is one of the most fierce punchers in the light middleweight division. I get the impression already, uh, Grantley, that uh, the Waters can't want a good hit out. And, uh, That's exactly sure, right. If Troy can take him out, he will, but uh, they'll be quite happy to uh, to go the distance for Troy and uh, and win on points rather than uh, uh, than uh, maybe take out uh, uh, this very tough Welshman. It's going to be a, uh, uh, a fight that Troy wants to gain a lot out of uh, in condition and experience and uh, before he steps in with uh, Darren Van Horn is going to be a different type of fighter than the one that he's fighting now. Well, you know, Troy's the Commonwealth champion. He, this is his second defence of the title. But, gee, he's still only had 13 professional fights. The guys he's up against are in the world standings. The guys like Darren Schoolboy, Van Horn, Robert Hines, Gianfranco Rossi, they've had a lot more fights than him. OK, he's head on. Trevor Christian saying you're just walking all in all the time with your head, and well, he is too, Mike Harris. Certainly is. He walked into a left there from uh, from Troy Waters. Harris busy though, gets the head down like a little British bulldog, and uh, that's the style he's got. And uh, he's coming to fight. He's making the Troy team. step up the pace now. There's the he's head, put again. the head in again. Goodness yeah. me. He's doing everything he can, Mike Harris. His attack is limited, and I think he understands that now because Troy's jab. He's starting to find the range. He just nailed Mike Harris again with that left hook. You know, we hear of runners having shin soreness. Mike Harris isn't a runner, but he's going to have chin soreness, I think, before very long. OK, and uh, that head is certainly coming down, and there's that habit again of uh, pushing out the hands. Troy Waters misses with a left uppercut. Punches his way out of the clinch. Good left by Troy Waters. He walks straight into that, Harris. He really drills that jab. You know, both Troy and Guy and, uh, and also Dean Waters, to some extent, all have excellent jabs. He's been warned again. He's being warned again. And he... Second warning in this uh, round four for the Welshman for using the head. Well, I've heard of fighters using the head, Zorb, but uh, Mike Harris is really taking it to an extreme. <laughs> he's not fighting a smart fight. He's fighting a, a head first fight. He's starting to talk to Troy Waters. He, uh, he's in there uh, all the way. He's a very rugged little customer. Troy Waters talking him. There's the end of uh, round three. Good round that one. Uh, gee, the Welshman's in there. He's, uh, well, he's, he's come to have a go, Zor, but uh, I don't know how, how much of a go he's going to be able to have because he's still standing in the corner. They're not using the stool over there. He's a very confident guy, this Mike Harris, but I think he must have jerried by now that he's in for the fight of his life. This is the biggest opportunity of his life, Commonwealth title fight. There's referee Trevor Christian. I realise that, but you've got to do yours the same without raising his hands on the head, you see? All right. Trevor laying the law, he won't take any nonsense from anybody, Trevor Christian. He certainly won't. He's a uh, bossy boots when he gets in the ring. Very good referee. Let's have a look at the replay. Troy banging away with the right hand. Mike Harris having a bit of a chat to him, saying, come on, is that the best you can do? And Troy saying, no, no, something else. you've got something else coming up a little bit later in this fight. So. OK, here we go for round four. 
Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship brought to you by Torfman's on Sky Channel in your favourite hotel and club around the nation. Hope you've enjoyed the action uh, uh, so far tonight. Lots more to come in this fight, we hope. And, uh, of course, what a smorgasbord of boxing you've had this week. We've been all over the place, from the uh, Rose Hill Racecourse to Homebush Bay and uh, now up on the central coast of New South Wales at uh, Edelong in the Central Coast Entertainment Centre. Mike Harris from Wales against Troy Waters of Australia, the defending Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Champion. I can't believe some of the things that Mike Harris is doing. Zorp. He's just pouring out both hands, trying to hold Troy Waters off. One moment he's going to, oh he just landed a hook but Troy came straight back. He's going to pour out those hands at one stage in this fight and his head's going to be lifted right back onto his back because Troy, look, he's just pouring out those both hands and Troy's going to uppercut his head into oblivion. It's uh, certainly a very funny style, isn't it? Uh, well, George Foreman used to do it against Joe Frazier but George Foreman used to have a kick like a mule. He could get away with it. I don't think Mike Harris can. Again, he persists in the pushing Troy Waters away comes through with the left there and then the head comes in it's almost a ritual with him uh, to push in comes the head and you know, then he pokes out a punch but uh, it uh, it won't take Troy too many more rounds to work him out you know Mike Harris is fighting with his mouth open too he's trying to suck in air through an open mouth and that's a sure sign that you're on the way to a broken jaw of the big one wins. that's how Sonny Liston once suffered a broken jaw against Marty Marshall he had his mouth open trying to gasp for air and he got his jaw broken the piece of Sonny Liston Mike Harris is Gee, if he keeps trying to suck in air through his mouth, Troy's going to hit him with a right hand, and gee, he's going to get hurt, Mike Harris. He has got flashing hands when uh, uh, when he does hold and push away. He, he does come back quickly with a yep. uh, with a punch, and uh, there's the head going down again. He's uh, he's in line for another warning. The head's never out of uh, of the forehead of Troy Waters. He burrows in all the time, but I don't think there's a lot of power behind those gloves. You know, he's only had six knockout wins in in uh, 24 victories. So uh, I don't think he's really got an attack to worry Troy Waters, but he is durable, he is tough. Troy Waters is an excellent puncher, though. And judging by the way he's getting home with that jab and the uppercut, I'll be surprised if Mike Harris is still here after 12 rounds. OK, Harris in round four against the defending champion Troy Waters. Troy Waters with the black trunks and pink bands up against uh, the Welshman in the entire black shorts. You know, Troy's got to keep his hands high like that because of the way Mike Harris is just butting in with his head. Troy's got to keep his hands in front of his face. 29 seconds remaining in this fourth round. Troy Waters poking out the left again. Good point scoring punches from Troy Waters. Goes underneath, but uh, there's a left and right combination from Harris. He's never far from Troy Waters. He's certainly a game Welshman. Yep, most Welsh fighters are game. They have a... They have a reputation for toughness and tenacity, and Mike Harris is no difference. When they signed for this fight, as I say, Troy said, you know, I hope it's a real good hit out because I'm fighting for the World Championship. I've only had a few fights, really, and I want a lot more experience. I want a hard fight before I fight for the championship. OK, there's the end of round four. How are you scoring it so far? From Fist Magazine, Grantly Kieser. Well, I've got Troy winning every round so far, Zorb, you know. He's taking his time, he's setting up Mike Harris. Harris is still over in the corner with his trainer. He's still standing between rounds. Gee, if I was him, I'd be looking for the stool. I'd be trying to get as much rest as I can. Yeah, is that psychological? What's he trying to do? Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't realise the stool's there because it's a very, very strange ploy. He might be trying to gain some sort of psychological advantage. There's Troy in the corner, and Troy's doing the sensible thing. He's sitting down. He's having a good long rest. He's giving his legs as much chance to recover as they can. And aren't they chanting this crown? They're, the Welshmen are cheering for Mike Harris. They've got their red football jumpers on. They're yelling out, Harris, Harris, Harris. But there's plenty more Troy Waters supporters here. Here we go into the replay. Mike Harris comes up with the left hook there. Only a glancing blow. Troy spearing out that left hand. Troy trying to measure him for that big right hand. We're going to see a big right hand from Troy Waters before very long because of the way Mike Harris is boxing. Round five coming up, and uh, it's all action here at... The Central Coast Entertainment Centre. Torbett's bringing you the Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship fight between the defending champion Troy Waters of Australia and the challenger Mike Harris of Wales. He's just pouring out those arms again. Got hit with a good jab there, Mike Harris. He's pouring out those arms. I'm sure Troy's going to nail him with an uppercut before very, very long. Look at him with his knees down. Gee, you know, if, if Troy wasn't being so careful and wary with that world title to protect him, I think Mike Harris would have been rocked a lot more than he has been so far in this fight. Yeah, a very cautious fight by Troy Waters. You can understand that. He's, uh, he's fought many, many years trying to uh, uh, to get a shot at the title. And Darren Van horn has got it. He's guaranteed a title shot. But, uh, of course, that'll all go out the door if he's beaten tonight. 
You know, he's fought all over the world too, Troy, in his attempt to get that title shot. A couple of years ago, he went over to Korea to fight in Bayek, lost on points, and very, very disputed defeat. Troy stung into action again here. That was a disputed defeat as far as Troy was concerned. Uh, they had to sleep in, in what Troy described as a cockroach motel. They were treated pretty poorly over in Korea. And in Bayek was once the number one contender in the world, so that's no disgrace for Troy. He claims he won the fight. If it wasn't for that that uh, blotch on his record, he'd be undefeated, and uh, he'd be going into that world title fight as an undefeated top contender. But in any case, he's in here with Mike Harris, the tough little Welshman, and uh, I, I've got him way ahead on points. I think uh, as soon as he opens up, Mike Harris is going to be in a lot of trouble. There's been a change in the fight. Uh, Troy Waters now is uh, is the uh, the hunter, and uh, he certainly has been very much the hunter in the fight so far. He uh, has taken the best shots. I think he's worked out the uh, the Welshman, and uh, he'll go to town now in uh, this uh, in this round, and it's a, a much better performance now. Look at the left now, finding its mark. Harris not uh, not as uh, as strong as he was early in the fight. Now, well, there's the speaky comes back. Oh, oh good he's right. hurt. Good right underneath by Troy Waters. And over the top by Troy Waters. His brother Dean stands up and uh, gives some encouragement in that blue corner. Father Seth remains very passive, though. Well, Troy's starting to open up now. Mike Harris sticking his head again, in again, but, uh, but Troy Waters starting to find the range. Gee, with that uppercut and that right hand. Uppercut again from Troy. Troy's starting to put the punches together. I think he's had enough of just the fi this feeling out process. He knows Mike Harris is there to be hit. OK, Mike Harris is tough, but Troy's going to find out just how tough he is. Good right underneath by Troy Waters. 24 seconds left in this round. Again, the headbutt. Again, the headbutt. Well, I wonder how many times Trevor's going to warn him before he takes a point away. Well, it's got to be the next one. I mean, he's had three warnings now. He could easily have warned him more. And uh, Troy Waters now switching the attack underneath. Again, the push and shove at the shoulder from the Welshman. I guess Mike oh, Harris... Troy oh, Waters. Troy. Missing left. that uh, range. Completely off balance. Yeah. On the Torben sign as he does the twist around and goes back to his corner. That is uh, the end of the fifth round. And again, Troy Waters dominating that round. And uh, he is a clear leader here at the Central Coast Entertainment Centre. And at it along. And uh, there is the corner of the defending Commonwealth junior middleweight champion, Troy Waters. Now, as we're coming into round six now, so let's see what Sess is telling Troy in the corner. Keep that left walking all the time. Left, 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 and bang with it out. So he can't pick, can't it, pick it up. And he'll go. Yeah. He'll be He's out for it. He hasn't okay. said much. Uh, there we are. Just there, Watch the head. I'm watching you, but here's the point. I realise that. I've caught him. He's up on his head. I realise that. Okay, okay there's a complaint. Oh. Trevor Christian will go over to... Warning again about the headbutt. Troy Waters complaining. You heard the complaints there, and uh, he certainly needs to uh, he needs to uh, watch where he puts his head. Here we are in round six, and Troy immediately on the tack. Zorl, I feel he's really going to step up the fight again now. He's had enough of Mike Harris sticking his head in. He's had enough of Mike Harris standing in front of him asking to be hit. Mike Harris is asking to be hit. He's going to get hit shortly. Certainly is, and uh, Troy Waters now going after. The very game Welshman from Swansea in Wales. And uh, I think he realises now that uh, it's going to be a very tough fight for, for him to win here in the backyard of Troy Waters. Great left from Troy Waters. And he starts to go underneath a bit more. There's that hand and Troy pushes it away. Well, Troy knocked, knocked him off balance in that previous round, Zorb. And, gee, I, I, I feel as soon as Troy opens up, Mike Harris is going to really, really be in a lot of trouble. Troy spent the first five rounds really having a good look at Mike Harris and getting a few rounds under the belt for that fight with Darren Van Horn. I feel as soon as he starts throwing that big right hand, Mike Harris is really going to wonder what's hitting. Harris a lot more careful now with the with the attitude of the head, but there it is weaving about again, and uh, he's there right in front of Troy Waters again in this sixth round. You know, Harris has sparred with Roberto Duran. We heard him saying before the before the fight what an honour it was to get in there and have a box with Duran. He's also fought the number one IBF middleweight, Frank Winterstein, the number one contender for Michael Nunn's championship. But gee, I doubt if he's very, fought very many punches who hit as hard as Troy Waters. Troy tonight, really, uh, he's fought better, hasn't he, than this? Well, it's not so much that he's fought better, Zorb. He's, Is it just he, the he's awkward attacked, customer? No, he's attacked. Well, I think, I think he's just so cautious about not taking any risks. He knows he's winning every round with a jab and the occasional right hand. 
I, I guess he's thinking to himself, well, why should I open up and maybe risk the chance of getting a cut or something? I might as well just pick up the points and beat this guy and uh, beat this guy over the 12 rounds. If I can stop him in the late rounds, well, that's what I'll do, but I'll have plenty of rounds in the bank. OK, and he's also worried about that head of, uh, of Harris, which is bobbing and weaving and uh, certainly always there in front of Troy Waters. Waters comes underneath with a short right, then straightens him up with a left. Another left by Troy Waters. In comes the Welshman again, burrowing in, but he beats a, uh, a short right hand there from the Troy Waters. Waters very, very conscious of that head bobbing in front of him, and uh, he certainly uh, doesn't want to have any uh, any eye cut. Waiting for referee Trevor Christian to break them up, and he does just that. We're in round six of this Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship. The end of this round will be the halfway mark in the fight. Jeff Hitman Harding is uh, Troy Waters uh, doing enough. He certainly seems to be cruising in the early stages of the fight. He's just filling out uh, the Welshman, Peter. I think it's a conflict of styles with uh, the Welshman coming in, holding his head to Troy's gloves, because basically Troy's got the peekaboo style. He's looking over the gloves, therefore he's finding out what's going in close, and then he's nullifying on that. But uh, with the Welshman, I don't think he's trying to do it on purpose. I think it's just a conflict of styles. OK, there's the end of uh, round six, Dudley Keezer. You've got uh, Troy Waters winning every round. Well, that's right, Zob. I can't give a, a round to Mike Harris. He's been on the end of Troy's jab all the way through. There's Troy in the corner with Sess, listening to the instructions from Sess. You know, Troy's just saying, a bit more boxing. He's one of these mugs who's making a fight. He's fight, I want more boxing, and don't, and don't get too excited. Is that the short? want more boxing and don't get too excited says Cess Waters here's the replay of the action in round six good right underneath by Waters but a good right and a left there there's the push that's a trait that we've seen from the Welshman all night in the opening six rounds and there's the face of the uh, the Welshman Mike Harris the defender tonight come here the uh, challenger I should say for the defense of uh, of uh, Troy Waters title well, I guess Seth Waters summed it up best in the corner there, Zor, where he said you're letting this guy make you fight his fight. And that's what Troy's done so far. He's really been content to stay in front of Mike Harris with the gloves held high and just uh, picking my way occasionally with that jab. I think he's got to really stick it to Mike Harris, really take the fight to him. There you see him waving the right hand, and he throws it straight away. Good left and right there by Troy Waters. A look of uh, fierce determination. Now he's starting now. to use those head and shoulder feints, trying to create the opening for Mike Harris. Gets yeah, a much more determined Troy Waters in this round. He's really decided to lift the pace. You can Certainly see, has. You can see, it. you can see him cocking that right hand, ready to throw it. And boy, if it lands on Mike Harris's chin, Mike Harris is going to be in a lot of trouble because he's been fighting with that mouth open for a large part of this fight. Okay, there's the left coming out from uh, Troy Waters, taking it out. The the left, which is uh, the trademark of Waters. The left coming back from uh, Harris. Another short left by Harris. Troy Waters again with the left. And uh, Troy with the hands held up. Very, very high. Great defence from Troy Waters tonight. Taking a lot of punches on the gloves. And those pushes from uh, from Harris. He bobs and weaves on the ropes. Good left by uh, Troy Waters. And misses with the right over the top. Break, says referee Trevor Christian. You know, it's been a very, very much a risk-free fight from Troy Waters so far. But I'd like to see him take a few risks. I'd like to see him unload with the right hand because I know he could take Mike Harris out of there if he did, and it would be a much more spectacular result for his career. Junior middleweight championship this for the Commonwealth, held by Troy Waters. Troy Waters, and, uh, well, the West Welshman has come a long, long way to attempt to wrest it from the Central Coast, but uh, uh, Troy Waters having none of that as he bangs out a left again. Very game customer, Mike Harris. Isn't he ever? You know, he's in running there from the referee, Trevor Christian. I just think it's a chronic problem with him. You know, he's, uh, well, it's his styles, Orb, you know, as Jeff Harding was saying, he's just putting his head on, on Troy's gloves to try and nullify the, his punching power, and it's creating that, that clash of styles. He's sticking his, his chin on the gloves, but, gee, at that moment, he was sticking his head at the end of Troy Waters' left hand. Gee, I'd just like to see Troy throw that right hand. And the Welshman now yeah. dropping the guard. That's right, Troy. Trying to suck in uh, Troy Waters, but Waters having done of it. Very cool, calm and collected is uh, the boy from Palmyra, Australia's... Uh, and Troy Waters, the Commonwealth Junior middleweight champion. And uh, there's a couple of good, sharp, crisp punches from the left hand of uh, the challenger, Mike Harris. You know, Mike Harris is just a sitting duck for Troy's right hands, or, but Troy won't let it go. He's being just so cautious. No doubt he's got Darren Schoolboy Van Horn in the back of his mind. And as we go into the last 30 seconds of this round, you know, he's, it's a little bit frustrating watching him because he's not unloading. Mike Harris is there asking, to, but almost asking to be hit with the right hand, and Troy just won't let it go. Jess Waters now starting to get a bit more animated in that corner and uh, starting to tell uh, 
Troy Waters to uh, uh, to work harder. And there's a left underneath, and Harris doing plenty of talking to the champion in play. Gee, look at that. Mike Harris is just there to be hit. Aaron Harris uh, certainly opening up and uh, finishing the round with a flurry there. The end of uh, round seven, and uh, finishing very well there, the challenger, Mike Harris. You know, Mike Harris is a beefed up light welder weight. He's, uh, he's had a lot of fights at 10 stone. He's now fighting at 11 stone. Troy Waters should be pushing and shoving and mauling him and bruising him and throwing him around the ring and bombing him with the right hand. Instead, he's just content to stand outside, throw those left jabs and occasionally try the right hand. But gee, I'd like to see him open up, Zorp. OK, comments from uh, Brantley Keyser, one of uh, Australia's most uh, prolific boxing riders. Here's a replay of the action. And uh, there's uh, Troy Waters pissing over the top grappling with the uh, with the top rope and then hanging on is uh, a very tough and wily man from Wa from wales mike harris miss there Thank timing you. out yeah. troy waters oh, and, again, uh, then finally just getting a uh, an anemic looking right on the face of uh, of the challenger so uh, troy waters we've seen him fight a lot better than this well we have zorb you know he hasn't done anything wrong really like he, ha he hasn't made many mistakes but that's really the the problem he hasn't taken any risks, so he isn't as looking he isn't looking as good as he has in the past. Gee, I would have expected him to bomb Mike Harris out after the showing that Mike Harris showed in those two, uh, first two or three rounds. Okay, in uh, in uh, ringside here with oh, a right, right hand by, by Troy. That's a good right by Troy Waters, uh, and uh, the Welshman takes it, laughs, and uh, says, "Is that the best he can do?" Left from. Uh, from Troy Waters and uh, now Harris starting to feel the punching power of uh, Australia's Troy Waters. Well, Troy's very much in a boxing execution as all. If he hurts him, he usually puts him away. And I think that we'll see a lot more right hands in these closing rounds. OK, how impressive is Troy Waters? Jeff Harding. Well, Peter, I don't think he looks real impressive tonight. It must be in the air, I think. Uh, basically, I think it's been too long between drinks for Troy. I'd like to see... Like myself, I like to fight every six weeks if I can, if I come out unblemished. But tonight, this, this guy from uh, Wales is very elusive and uh, very tricky. He's very tough too, isn't he? He's a tough customer and he knows all the ropes. He's taken some good right hands off Troy, that's for sure. He certainly has. There's the habit. Oh, underneath goes Troy Waters. i just like to see Troy open up so much more, Zorb. You know, what, where's the right uppercut? Where's the flurries that we've seen from him in the past? He's just fighting spasmodically. Now we see Waters step up a gear and doesn't he look good when he lets them rip oh his, his combinations are superb Zorb, but he's just not throwing them often enough underneath goes troy waters comes back with the right hand over the top troy gee you know i'd really like to see him put a couple of flurries together i really like to see him go after mike harris with everything okay one minute 12 seconds left in this uh, round and uh, it's been a much better round this one for troy waters he's dominated the fight so far but combinations better going underneath now and trying to work hard at the stomach area cut off the wind of the challenger mike harris he's so intent on keeping those hands in front of his face to avoid mike harris's head but it's preventing him from unloading the combinations that have become his trademark in the past i'd really like to oh, the right hand comes through again He's hurt Mike Harris with that right hand, but Harris stands there in front of him. He won't go. It's towards the end of the round, pouring the pressure on. Is Troy Waters underneath? He's wobbly now. The challenger is wobbly. Mike Harris has uh, Troy Waters, the eye of the tiger, from the boy from Caldera. They, they are screaming in Troy's corner. Brother Dean is screaming at Mike, uh, at Troy to finish Mike Harris off. He's got him wobbly now. Will he go down? 19 seconds left in this round. And the Welshman now, knowing he's in trouble. The challenger in trouble. And Troy Waters looks to finish the fight right here and now. He's Nine on... seconds left. He won't have enough time in this round. He's on and shaking legs, Mike Harris. The crowd going berserk here at the Central Coast Entertainment Centre. And uh, after the bell, he hits him. And uh, oh. he stopped the fight. He stopped he the stopped fight. It. Right at the end of that round, Mike Harris in desperate trouble. Well, that punch there. The Har Harris can't believe that he stopped the fight. Harris can't believe, and I must admit, I can't either. Trevor Christian has stopped the fight. I thought he punched him after the bell, well, and, uh, and then he stopped the fight. Well, I think tr uh, Trevor had made up his mind to stop the fight just as the bell sounded. Troy caught him a couple of times, but Trevor had made up his mind that he'd seen enough. Mike Harris was being rocked. Trevor stopped the fight. Mike Harris is blown up. He's still arguing with Trevor Christian, but Mike Harris, he was on shaky legs. He was never going to win the fight. Oh, 